I'm Raj Panikar. I'm a producer with Fifth Ground Entertainment. I produced the series Real Side and co-directed episodes four and six, which was world building in science fiction and superheroes. In science fiction in particular, uh, with the kind of storytelling uh, that it portrays where you have to actually transport viewers to a world that doesn't currently exist, even if it's grounded in today's society, um, inherently in science fiction, there's something that makes it unlike our current world. And you have to get viewers to accept and feel like they're in that place. And the way to do that is through building that world that you're telling the story in. So it is one of the key features in science fiction that uh, can make or break the science fiction story is how well is that world built. I think it's fascinating to, to viewers to see. I think the creative process can be a bit of a mystery box for a lot of people who aren't involved in a creative industry. And seeing makers make something or talk about making something is uh, always illuminating and fascinating um, to anybody who's watching it. And I've had a great response from people who have seen the series in terms of getting to see the way film works behind the scenes, some of the processes that happen to create the seamless story on the screen. And I think people are drawn to seeing how people that they admire um, creatively, visually, uh, artistically, getting a bit of a, um, a view into how that artistic mind works um, without actually being able to have the brain scan where you can look in and see the different things happening. You, this is the closest and most intimate way you can actually get a view of their process. And if you are a creator, that can inspire you to different ways of working or at least make you feel that you're on the right path. And if you're not, it's just a whole fascinating illumination of something you haven't seen before. So several years ago, we did another doc series called The Raw Side Up, and it was a music documentary series for the independent film channel, IFC. Um, eight individual rock and roll movies, essentially, one hour docs, uh, each on a different band. And at that time, my producing partner, Chris Zarka, and I were working with Jag Tana, who was the lead singer of the band, I Mother Earth. And it was his sort of concept to do, he had all the connections to bands and he wanted to do some sort of show or creation that we could take music into the visual medium. And together we collaborated and came up with this doc series, which got a couple of nominations for the Geminis. At that point, uh, a couple years later, we went into the Movie Network and we were meeting about a couple projects, Chris and I, and they wanted, they loved Raw Side and they wanted us to do something similar. Um, but instead of music, obviously, for film and TV. And we happened to have something in development at that point with Richard Krauss, who's uh, a fantastic treasure trove of information on films worldwide. He's a great film critic and a great thinker on film. Um, and we'd been collaborating with him on a doc series uh, very similar to the raw side of, called Real Side. And that became the series that the Movie Network commissioned from us. There's so many more stories to tell. I mean, this is just scratching the surface, really. Um, and I got to say, it's pretty wonderful, not just in terms of collaborating as a director, but even more so as a producer, to work with directors that I know or just get to know and allow them to have sort of a free creative slate to tell the stories however they want to tell them. And that's sort of what we're trying to capture, real emphasis on texture and cinematography and real sort of in-depth storytelling. I think Canada in particular has a real sort of weak spot for their own media and content and a, a feeling that it's you know inferior to the big brother down, down south. So I think it's really important for Canadians as a populace to um, hear some of the stories and see some of the, the productions from people in the Canadian industry and get a real showcase of how high quality and amazing some of that stuff can be.